All right guys, so a quick update. Just took this engine off the stand. All right, let's throw the rear main seal, uh, the rear main seal on, uh, put the clutch on, and let's put the transmission on. Hopefully we'll get all this bolted on today and we'll actually throw it inside the car. Let me give you guys a quick update with the car. Uh, painted the subframe, I welded it in brackets to reinforce it. And there's some brackets on the bottom as well. I also installed a angle kit. It's like a budget SLR kit. Let's get this pressed in on this uh, cover here. Let's get this seal on here. I'm gonna put RTV all around it just to properly uh, seal it so it won't have any leaks. I'm gonna press this in here, put that on, bolt it on, and we could be ready to install the clutch. Installed the pilot bearing and the flywheel. I got new bolts. I'm gonna also use red Loctite. Put them in here and we should be good to go. All right guys, so I just pulled the car in. I already put the transmission on. My battery just died, so I just wanted to get this done as soon as possible. Before we throw the engine in, I'm gonna replace all these power steering lines. I've got a new set of lines here. New reservoir, new line, these new hoses, new bolts. So let's get that installed real quick. Prep this area, connect all the wiring, and we should just drop this engine right in. Put the mounts on, and we should be good. All right, so I just took these lines off and the reservoir, installed new lines. Everything looks good, everything bolts on. I bolted this one down because it's somewhat in a fixed position. It's this little rubber hose is gonna connect to the reservoir. This one I left it loose because I don't know where the power steering pump's gonna sit. So I'll just bolt that down once the engine's on and the arm's in place, that way I can properly have this line sitting in the right spot. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna sort of go over everything. I'm gonna put my stainless steel clutch line on while I'm still here. Go over all these fuel lines and whatnot, make sure everything's all sitting in the right spot. And we should be good. All right guys, so engine's finally in. This is how it looks underneath the car. We got Condor solid mounts. We've got fresh power steering lines because these tend to leak all the time. Uh, it's angle kit, I was telling you guys earlier. Max speeding rod coilovers, we'll see how they do. Um, read some good reviews on it, so we'll see what happens. eBay headers. Um, also had decent reviews and they were pretty cheap. Transmission. We got the Condor solid mounts. Just mounted it all up. I'm going to be running a solid shifter. Still, just kind of threw it on here. I got to bolt it on and add this uh, shift linkage, so we'll see what happens. Other than that, underneath looks pretty clean. All right, I'm gonna probably call it a night since uh, it's already like, shoot. Uh, I think it's like two o'clock p.m. or a.m. Gonna call it a night, pretty tired. So I'm gonna work on this tomorrow. 
kind of wire everything up, put everything on, hopefully fire it tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. So this is like the third day of after I swapped the engine. I just kind of was pretty busy and just didn't really record a lot of stuff, but engine's in. I've already started it. Everything runs, everything sounds good. Um, I just didn't record it because I was just like kind of frustrated. About the ECU, uh, it came out of my Parts E36. I thought it was a red label, uh, 413, but instead it's the silver one and it has the EWS system in it. And basically, um, plugged everything in, um, it didn't want to even crank at all. So I was just kind of like just start checking everything. I thought it was maybe it was all the wiring. I found where the EWS module is. It's this wire here. It's connected somewhere in there. And there's these two power wires. I think it's uh, green, black, yellow. It's just the, the huge thick wires. Basically, you just threw a jumper in it. And that bypasses the EWS system. And literally it just like fired like the first like crank. And that's pretty much it. Uh, let me start it up for you guys. I'll let you guys hear how it sounds. Working on another thing on this car. Ooh. Right now I'm working on the rear end of this car. Removing the subframe, the diff. I already started taking everything apart. Started removing, you know, brake caliper, all that stuff, parking brake. I'm gonna just drop the entire subframe. So I'm gonna be reinforcing the chassis with these plates here. That requires removing the subframe and just weld those onto the chassis. These as well. And these plates here and finish installing the rear coilovers. And I'm also gonna install these eBay control arms for the bottom. So that's what we're gonna be working on. Subframes out, boys. Subframes out. Alrighty, so subframe is out. Got a plate like this. Get that tacked on there. Got to remove all this seam sealer here. Uh, and take it down to bare metal. There's a spot right there. Also, that's a weak spot. That spot. And I believe right there. So all those brackets are going to be welded onto the actual chassis. Yeah, I did plan on removing the diff because I'm replacing all these bushings. So I just decided since I'm already in here, get these plates welded in so and paint the subframe. Same color like the front subframe. Paint the trailing arms black. I got new Gurdjistic front or rear bushings for trailing arms and subframe bushings, and I believe the diff bushing as well. All right guys, so that wraps up this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, shoot me a thumbs up. Sub to my channel.